upset, I know. We're just washing the undercarriage here, buddy. Spa treatment, then. That's it. I'll meet you over there. What's going on? You're looking at Cersei right here, my juvenile Aldabra tortoise. One of the three that are in here, plus we've got some radiates. Today's kind of a big day. Um, uh, Kate, my lovely wife, noticed that Timmy and some of the other tortoises had some ticks on them, and they're a pretty substantial number. So we're gonna show you guys what I do uh, to kind of remedy this situation. When there's that many ticks on an animal, they're so small you may not even pick them up on the camera, but there's a tick. Oh, there's some little tiny ticks right there. What happens is because the rainy season's in full effect here in Florida, these little boogers, they're ectoparasites, they're arachnids, they actually just explode in population. So what's going on is we're gonna do a few things. I'll show you how I control them. You can't completely eliminate them, but we're gonna put the tortoises up on the lift here. As you can see, you know, we keep her suspended. A tortoise on a post uh, goes nowhere, but uh, I'm gonna show you what I do. So in this spray bottle, we have a product uh, a chemical called permethrin. Now I consulted my veterinarian, Dr. Mike Gillen at PGA Animal Clinic, and I've been doing this for many, many years, but basically it's your own version of a frontline spray for dogs and cats and other animals. It's a small amount, you dilute a small amount of the permethrin in the actual container. And what we do very simply is I just give a quick splash here, quick splash there, okay? Uh, you kind of get it on their armpits and as they close, you see he's, he's kind of mushing it around. So it's gonna, gonna get these ticks that are hanging on right there, you see those? Uh, I never want to spray it in the eyes, but I basically just let him keep wandering around and you just kind of give it a quick little blast. Be gentle with the blast because you don't want to spray it in his eyes. Um, it wouldn't. It, it's just an irritant to them. Um, so I wouldn't want to irritate them anymore than I have to. Now with the back end, on the back end of this here tortoise here, you can see the back end of this girl. Uh, we just go ahead and give her a good little dosing. Okay? That's it. I get it all up in her little tortoise pits. And uh, that's how I do it because they're so small, I can't see every single tick. And to sit there and try and pick everything off of a tortoise is virtually impossible because as soon as you start messing with them, they go in. So it's very difficult to get all of these things off. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna try and get, whoa, <laughs> a few tortoises dealt with. So we're gonna try and uh, get as many tortoises as we can. I'm gonna spray them all, and then we gotta get Timmy out of Timmy's little hiding spot, because Timmy really does have a lot, so I wanna make sure we get him done. And then we have another product that we'll revisit here in a little bit. It's diatomaceous earth. It's simply a type of earth. It's, it's very silty. You see this stuff? It's incredibly silty. Um, and you just, we're gonna put it in certain areas where I know the tortoises like to hang out. For example, Timmy's, oh, oh you stay there. Um, we're gonna just go ahead you know, and just throw it in the hole with Timmy. There's Timmy. It can hurt Timmy, but what it does to insects or arachnids, exoskeletons, it just cuts them. It's got microscopic little sharp objects, little crystalline structure in that silt, and that's what actually kills uh, the insects, so, or arachnids. So it's a, a non-invasive way to really treat the area. Uh, but right now, <clears throat> let's see what Boba's doing. I'm sure Boba's got a bunch of ticks as well. Boba likes to hang out in here. So I'm gonna grab Boba. The other cool thing, friends, is we're getting more Aldabra tortoises. Oh, look, it's Sophia. She's feeding everybody. What a good girl. Now, the day you watch this, she's doing it because it's my birthday today, Tuesday, June 13th. It's my birthday. So this is what I'm doing for my birthday. Taking care of tortoises like I do every day. Can you imagine anything better? on your birthday. Come on, Boba. Come here, Boba. Oh my God, Boba wedges himself in here that you really gotta get. Oh my God, you gotta be careful not to get your fingers caught. Look at this. It's next to impossible to extricate him. Oh my gosh. It's the worst spot to have to dig him out. It's so bad, dude. It is so bad. I'm gonna rotate him. Oh, it, it looks rough, but don't worry. Boba's okay. There he is. Let's go see what Boba's doing. Right, let's see what kind of, if he's got any ticks on them. And you can also do this. Yeah, let's pick the easiest way back. Well, you can do it as, 
<laughs> you can do this as a preventative. Come on, dude, you're young and capable. Uh, this is also a good way to prevent ticks. So even if he doesn't have any on him, you might want to do it, but he does. He's got some small ticks. It's so hard to see, but there are some tiny little ticks. Oh, you're upset, I know. So let's go ahead and do the process again. And it's also, you know, I like this kind of thing. I'll tell you why. Um, I see these tortoises every day, but it's, it, look at the size of this one. Look, look at this tick. Let's get it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, that was a big one. Let's, let's just kill it. Bye tick, <laughs> you're dead. This stuff is really good, it kills them. And it's pretty easy on animals. Uh, a lot of snake keepers use permethrin, clean the, the snake enclosures. But do you see how it's running down? We want to run down. Careful, I just scared him a little. Gentle, 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 gentle. Just a little tick bath. All right, see? And like I said, because he's gonna move around, he's gonna kind of massage that into the little folds. And this one we can give a really nice spray. Well, I think he kind of likes it. Look, it feels good. Ah, yeah. We're just washing the undercarriage here, buddy. Spa treatment there. That's it. It is pretty good. So now he has been treated. So let's go ahead and let him down. That's my boba. I love boba. Oh, but did I mention in this video already that we're getting two more Aldabra tortoises? 50 pounders. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in here or if we're gonna do something different. They may even be able to live with the bigger tortoises. So we're gonna have six Aldabra tortoises total. We've got a herd. So, so excited, and so I can't wait uh, to have those guys, and we'll be documenting that whole, that whole ordeal, that whole trip. Look at, look at Timmy's coming, Timmy's coming out. Watch your back. We're gonna grab a radiated now, and we're gonna see if we can see any ectoparasites on this guy. So, in the wild with Aldabra tortoises and Galapagos tortoises, <clears throat> they'll stretch out and allow birds to come down and pick off any ectoparasites they may have. But we don't have that species of bird down here in Florida. So let's see if he'll, or she'll, start wandering around here. Can you, can you kind of open up? The good thing about this though, is I can still treat them even if their heads are slightly put in. So we're just being very gentle. And again, consult with your veterinarian, okay? This is what you do, and then, Give a little spray on the back. I think we're doing good. What do you think? Are you having I fun? The bucket idea is amazing. The bucket's good. Yeah. It's the simple things that you figure yeah, out. Totally. Um, being a tortoise keeper over many, many years. Like, how can I do this easily? Oh, look who came out. Hey, Timmy. <laughs> There's Timmy. Let's see how bad Timmy really is, because Kate was really concerned. And I said, oh, yeah, Timmy's got a lot. You Timmy, look at this. Yeah, look at the one on his neck. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a bigger one, yeah. All right, now, Timmy's a little smaller, so Timmy may actually be able to get off the bucket, but I'm going to start his rear end here. Yeah, he's got ticks on his bottom. Look, you can see one right here. Look at this. So it's just not feasible to sit here and pluck every single tick off. And since he's smaller, I need a smaller bucket. You just give him a hit. Yeah, Thank uh, you. I got you. So we're just giving him a little scoop. Yeah, okay. he's on the move. Definitely, yeah. but let's see. Do you see any more ticks on the front end? Right here, there's one, two, three in this one. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yep. Yeah. Good yeah. job, good job, yeah. And there's another one on the bottom here. Yeah. There's one on the top. Oh, yeah, there. there's a lot in there. Yeah. That's another big one. Right on the yep, right on his neck. Yeah, he's big. But yeah. this is gonna do it. I mean, and the cool it thing is, easy, right? it makes it real easy, because they'll get, they'll die here in a little while and just fall off. And you notice, even in the folds of his uh, neck, I saw a tick even in here. So I wanna be careful, but I wanna get enough in there. So as he, see as he moves, yep. it's, it's bathing himself in this. So I feel good about the amount he's got. We've got a little diatomaceous earth on his shell. All right, Timmy, come on, little one. Oh God, Timmy is heavy, dude. Good thing. Holy, that is a good thing. See you, Timmy. Daddy loves you, man. Can't have you walking around with ticks all over, but there's food, so eat your food. Soph's out bringing the food to all the animals. She's helping me out on my birthday so I can focus on hanging with you friends, and I don't have to worry about much, because we've got uh, Sophia. I'll tell you what we'll do next. Why don't I just go bring the bucket down there? Here comes a tortoise. So we're really getting a chance to see and care for all our animals. And in addition to checking them for ticks, I get to feel their weight, 
I get to do a little health assessment for these guys, which when you have so many animals, it's really, really important, isn't it? You wanna make sure that your little creatures are doing well, because it can be easy to, you know, accidentally miss any- Forget the regular maintenance. Well, yeah, you know, they like they're, this is his 10,000 mile tune-up, but again, this is something I have to do twice a year. Get a little on the shell so he doesn't pick any up. All right, little one, go get your food. All right, good stuff, huh? Good stuff. We're gonna come on over here. They're having a little nibble. I'll let them nibble first. Oh, yeah. This male. Some of them really don't complain. They don't complain at all, some. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. Now, I'm not really seeing ticks on this one. I don't know why some have ticks and some don't. Well, there is one. I do see one. And we got it bathed happily. Like I said, just get it in their little armpits. Oh, that's a nice heavy tortoise, too. That's how, one of the easiest ways to tell the health of a tortoise, the weight. You want that animal to feel heavier than it looks. So let's get this male up. Oh my god. Oh boy. Big yeah. boy. Yeah, it's a big boy, all right. Look at that concavity in the shell. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? It makes it kind of rough for this. Yeah. He doesn't quite fit perfectly on it, but it's okay. Well, he's uh, getting an He's got he's some got, muscles. He does. All they have to do is get a little. Again, I've been doing this for many, many years without any incident on these animals. But you see, just take care in how you do it. Just gotta be careful. Oh, excuse me, sorry to interrupt your meal, but this is the only time I can get these guys. <laughs> riveting, riveting stuff if you're a tortoise lover but necessary evil. Now in the wild, like I said, they would get ticks, but uh, you know, it's interesting. As long as they aren't completely covered to the point that it, the ticks are sucking all their blood, ticks really aren't much of a problem. I've not had any tick-borne illnesses in my tortoises, but of course with human beings, you have to look out for things like Lyme's disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever in certain areas of the country, but I've not had any issues with tortoises. All right, I'm feeling pretty good on this. And now I, I'm glad they're walking away from their food, let it dry off a little bit. Okay, next up, what do you say we go ahead? Oh, we got two over here. All right, right, let's. right, we're doing the whole shebang, people. We got three more tortoises to do. Hello. Nice little girl there. Nice little lady. Thank you, Matt. Get that up close and personal turtle washing day. Yeah, that's it, man. Come over here. Wake up. This is a smaller one, so. I'm really glad we're getting this done because, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, you're almost out of here, kid. Almost out of here. All right, I think we're good. Let's go show you the diatomaceous earth. We'll probably have to do, I think I'll also do the giant tortoises as well, since I'm out here and we have this stuff mixed. Just a good thing to do. And now that Timmy's out of his little house, I wanna to toss more of this diatomaceous earth in it so that when he goes back in, he's gonna be kind of covered in this powdery substance. Oh, he loves this hole. Oh my gosh, it's funny. I never thought of an Aldabra as really enjoying a uh, burrow, but this is the perfect place for Timmy. Just throw some of this in there. There we go. Let's throw some where Boba likes to hide. There's Boba right there. Yeah, Timmy had a lot of ticks on him. I'll go, I'll meet you over there. If some of you were so inclined, you could sprinkle this 
all over, okay? Obviously the next rain will wash it all out, but you know, you can just kind of bathe the area in it. It's like that dusty stuff. You don't want to inhale too much of it. It's hard to breathe. It's chalk. It's chalk, exactly. So, yeah, it's, I'm ready for the uneven parallel bars. Right, you exactly. Know? Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good with what we've done. I mean, like I said, if you guys were like super freaked out about ticks, you just do this. Just kind of walk around, throw this stuff everywhere. It's gonna kill the ticks. It'll also kill some other insects. Anything that walks along it. You may wanna wear a mask when you do this. It won't kill you, don't worry. All right, let's go see about our big boys and girls. I can't put those guys up on the hydraulic lift. Actually, watch out, those are spiny. Yeah. Careful, dude. Hey, look, soap's really feeding everybody. But this is a good opportunity. I know these guys get their ticks every now and again. So here's Socrates. We're gonna just spray Socrates undercarriage a little bit. A little there, a little there. I wanna be careful. I, I don't wanna get any really in the food. So I'm gonna let him continue to eat before I spray anything else. And of course, Nostradamus, our large Aldabra, has knocked his food bowl over. Nazi! Poor Nazi. Uh, but Nostradamus actually displays really cool behavior. And I'm gonna show you. Um, I mentioned how birds would pick the ticks off these guys, but watch what Nostradamus does. He allows me to scratch him, right? He goes into a trance-like state and people are like, oh, he's so affectionate. And maybe he is, but I think a more likely reason for this is that he stretches out and allows himself to be groomed, if you will. It feels good, number one. So there's a reward in that regard. It feels nice when someone's scratching you. You got this dry reptile skin, but it also allows whatever's scratching him to pick off the tick. So it's pretty cool. And thankfully at the moment, strangely, this guy's got no ticks, but look, it makes it easy for me. I can just kind of get in there, spray him down a bit, okay? So you said this is about a twice a year treatment yeah, for every one of them. Yeah, you know, or as you see, if you see a lot of ticks, Go ahead and spray them down a little bit. Then I feel confident and secure that these animals are just being cared for and there's no real drama in that regard. So, pretty good stuff. Darwin, you're not putting up on a bucket, that's for sure. Oh gosh. What do you think, 320, 300 pounds? She is, uh, when we last weighed her, she was 350. Roundabout. Are you gonna move away from your food? Okay. Let me just go ahead and do this really quick. Thank you, young lady. The drippies are off. I don't see any ticks on her. Back to eating. And that, my friends, is how I handle ticks on my tortoises. Now, with smaller tortoises, you can either use this or you can go ahead. Oh, did I get you? Yeah. You can either uh, use that or you can get a little spray bottle and you can do it the same way. And if tortoises go into the shells, no problem. Drizzle a little bit in the crevices between their legs and their shell. And what will happen is it'll seep in there. I've had no issues with these. Just be careful around their eyes uh, would be my advice. Also, consult your veterinarian. Uh, you can also buy Frontline product, um, which is already formulated and mixed for dogs and cats. Uh, I have used that as well. But permethrin is more cost effective since that is the active ingredient in Frontline as well. You can buy permethrin at most farm supply stores for livestock. It's safe to use a lot around livestock and that's why I'm able to do it here with these animals. So very, very happy to share this information with you to make your lives easier and make their lives better because who wants to be walking around with a bunch of ticks on them? Uh, I know I don't. Um, I once found a tick in a very scary place. Whew. Unnerving. Uh, anyway, that and a leech. Really, like Stand By Me, old movie, Google it. Watch it on YouTube, the moment. Leeches, Stand By Me. You'll enjoy it. All right, everyone, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's my birthday. I'm gonna go uh, continue to have a birthday. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being members, and uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Good kids. Later.